So in this lecture, we are going to see the modulus and argument of complex number, any complex number z with the help of argon diagram. We know that argon plane, what is argon plane? And from the help of argon plane, we will see the arguments, what is, what is the argument and with that help, with the help of argon diagram, we will also see the modulus, what is the modulus of any complex number. So, let us suppose z is any complex number which is represented in the form of x plus i y, right? And what are the argon diagram? What is the argon diagram? What we represent in the argon diagram? We represent, this is the real axis and this one is the imaginary axis, right? This is the real axis and this one is imaginary axis. So, z is some point here where, whose coordinates are x comma y, right? This is simply uh, similar to the x y plane and the real part is uh, denoted here in the real axis and the imaginary part denoted in the imaginary axis. So, this one is like this. This is y and this is x. And this one is suppose we are taking r, right? This one we are taking what? R. So now what happens and this one we are calling it as theta and this is measured in anti-clockwise direction. Just remember these points for now. So what are uh, we, what we are going to see that with the help of this uh, argon diagram we are going to see modulus and we are going to see argument. So suppose if we represent x that is real part of a complex number in terms of r then what we will write r cos theta right and similarly if we represent y in the term of r then what we will write r sin theta no problem yeah exactly no problem now what we will do let us square them x square let us do x square and y square and let us sum sum of uh, do summation of those so x square plus y square is equal to what? x square is equal to r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta. Now, from here take out common r square, right? And do cos square theta plus sin square theta. Now, you can see that this is uh, an identity uh, in the trigonometric ratio where trigonometric identities, this is the trigonometric identity which is equal to 1. So, we can see that x square plus y square is equal to what r square and from here r is what root over x square plus y square right root over x square plus y square. This is called the modulus of any complex number and this is also denoted as z mod right z mod is equal to what x square plus y square this and this is also equal to z bar modulus z bar is what this is a complex conjugate of conjugate of conjugate complex right conjugate complex that is this is the conjugate complex we have seen, uh, seen that uh, just we change the imaginary parts sign and we write as it is the complex number then we call it as a comp uh, complex conjugate. So, this we uh, understood the modulus of the complex number. Now, from this argon plane itself we will see argument, 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 argument of z right and this is denoted as argument z right argument z and what it is this is actually value of theta right theta and theta is what we can say tan inverse tan inverse y by x y by x tan inverse y by x right tan inverse what y by x this is the argument of theta sorry argument of complex number now we can see that theta has many value. Suppose this theta is one value and if you rotate from here 2 pi, right? 2 pi matlab, means 360 degree, then again it will come the same theta. So, theta may vary from 0 to infinity like uh, and the form uh, format is what? Argument of, uh, argument of z is what in what format we can write? Theta plus 2n pi right 
theta theta plus 2 and pi you will write then again it will come as the same theta value this one right but the principal argument something is called principal argument value principal argument values right principal value of argument principal to principal value of argument which is in between theta is greater than or equal to minus pi and less than or equal to pi that is we can only if we talk about the principal value we can only go from here to here and we will stop right that is if z is here suppose then z is here then we will take this value right if z is here we will take this value but if z is here we will not take this value instead we will take what this value right from here to here that is we will move clockwise and this is anti-clockwise right so this is the principal value of argument from that to that value we denote the principal value of argument right so this was the argument on modulus so let us take one example like uh, we are going to take example of suppose z uh, is a complex number in the format of x plus i y x plus i y which is equal to what 3 plus 4 i right 3 plus 4 i we can write i uh, after the real number or before the real number the, there is no issue in writing that right so this is the complex number now we are uh, we have to um, find what mod z and z bar and mod z bar and argument z these are the value we have to find so mod z what mod z is what root over x square plus y square that is real part square to the uh, imaginary part square so it will be what 3 square plus 4 square and this will be uh, 9 plus 16 that is 25 and this will be equal to 5 so mod z is equal to what 5 now we uh, have to find z bar that is com conjugate conjugate of complex conjugate com of complex number z right so this is what this is equal to same co complex number just we change the sign of the imaginary part so it will be like this so equivalently 3 minus 4 i this will be the complex conjugate right now we have seen that complex conjugate so modulus is equal to the modulus of the same complex number so it will be again equal to what 5 now we have to find argument argument now we have to find argument of z so it is what tan inverse of tan inverse of y by x this is the formula so tan inverse what is y here okay so we one thing uh, just put in your mind and one th one thing you should remember always that here we take y and x with its sign so here what is the sign of y that is plus so it will be plus 4 divided by plus 3 there is no um, uh, there is no uh, like uh, necessity to take the plus sign but if it was minus then we should take the minus sign so it will give what principal argument value if you take your uh, this uh, y and x with its sign it will give the principal argument value that is in between theta in between what theta in between uh, minus pi to pi so what is the answer here tan inverse theta is equal to argument of z is equal to what tan inverse 4 by 3 this is the argument right 